We're back on the Fat Tire Board Track Racer. Um, need to figure out a back sprocket over here. And the clutch is just bolted on there all loosey-goosey. Um, it's still hitting the camshaft PTO reverse shenanigans for the snowblower. And the bolts are too long that hold the rest of it on. So, got to take care of those two issues. And then get to the back sprocket and the disc brake. Going to pull all this off. So, you got to get these loosened up. Somewhere in this area <clears throat> needs to be hogged out, or this needs to be shortened even more. But I want to leave enough room for the seal to actually seal on there and try to hog this out. thing that's hitting it looks like this edge here and we really only need this edge here so <clears throat> bye bye little drill cut Shorten the bolts. Do we do it forever with the hacksaw? Do we pretend that that's an actual option because it's the YouTube channel name? figure out what thread pitch this is um, I'm going to guess that it's now oh, we got this thing thread checker I'm gonna guess that it's standard fine thread something so too loose alright so it is 3 8 24 threads per whatever. Find on the fits. This looks like it, but it might be too short. That one also fits. Let's try these two. Too short. 
Wow, still too short. And it's going to have to go through this, which is uh, too small. What's this one? It might work. Okay. So, we have to drill this out to fit this here. Okay, so this doesn't ride on anything. This inside edge. Because it locks into the crankshaft. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about hurting this. It's not a bearing surface or anything, or bushing. I know I could use the drill press, but I really don't have a good way to hold. <clears throat> hold this here. Chamfer for the edge. We got the clutch pretty much on there. Um, <clears throat> next is to get a sprocket on the back wheel. Looks like we're kind of lined up. Um, we're going to try to put it where the disc is right now. So we're going to pop this wheel off and go from there. And again, we need uh, some bolts, this thread, but longer. So we're going to get the thread checker again. So that is... M5 <clears throat> by 0.8. Alright, so we gotta dig for some hardware. Oh, we just need a couple to hold it on. Alright, so we have a new disc brake, which is. Good deal larger than the old one. What would happen if we tried to use the original disc brake is the caliper would be hitting the sprocket with the spacing we have available. We got a bigger disc and hopefully that's enough room for the caliper. And then to space them, we got this. And I think these are intended to screw on um, where your freewheel goes. But as soon as you, to, to put a disc brake, but as soon as you hit the brakes, it would unscrew unless the wheel was flipped around and just used as a front brake because with an engine, if you had any kind of engine braking, it would also unscrew this off the hub. Unless you were to machine like a, a groove for a circlip or something on the outside. Anyways, um, we are just going to use it as a spacer, so we have to get rid of these threads in here because that will cause some binding situation. Okay. short but good enough for what we're doing today just remind me not to try to drive it with these on there thank you so as you can see I got ahead of myself um, this bottom tube here was 
going to interfere with the disc that's moved out, you know, that far now. Um, so what I did was I cut the pipe completely in half right here. I bent the whole thing out <clears throat> for this angle. I put a couple notches, bent it back, and then it was still creating a weird angle here. So I put a couple slits in this and bent it forward. And now that's clearing. Um, I'm gonna weld this up, at least a couple tacks. And then uh, we're gonna have to do the same at the top here because the disc is going to hit. It's hitting right now. So, so that is tack welded together for now. Not pretty. Nope, not pretty. But uh, it's gonna hold it for the moment. All right, so I'm gonna cut it right here. Tweak this out because it's touching the disc. We're gonna tweak this out. Let's give us clearance. <clears throat> Let me see if we have clearance now. Now, got to put a couple slits somewhere over here. Tweak this back. We'll probably have to tweak this out. And we don't want to cut all the way through. So that should be enough to tweak it back that way. Oh boy, went a little far. I'm going to cut <clears throat> a couple slits in this one without hacking through the tire. So we're going to get our little baby vise here. You think we got it all cockeyed? Hard to say. Alright, we need to find a chain. I think this is 41. 41 chain. Okay, so it's going to be pretty loose. And if it's tight, if it's tight, it's going to hit the frame down here. So, we need to find a way to tension the chain and keep it off the frame. Hmm. We tried to drop this, all the shenanigans we did to put the clutch up this way. We tried to put it back down because we seem to have plenty of clearance up top. But we could come down a little and split the difference. So we're going to try that real quick. looks pretty good worst case might have to put a little roller here just to keep it from bumping off the frame or a slider or something and then you can put a roller here as the chain tensioner and now that we got the chain where we want it to be we only have two bolts holding the clutch on so we got two bolts that are the same thread. We're going to cut them off, sharpen them to a point, screw them in the two holes that are left, bolt the clutch on, and it'll leave an indent where we need to drill the other two holes.
two holes way too close to the other holes. Alright, we're going to go ahead and break this chain. We got a uh, little nut. We have the spot we want to break marked with a marker. Yeah. Got a little hammer and a big hammer. that started Chain's on. So next is chain slider here and a roller back here to tension it. So we'll knock out the chain slider first. Got some uh, scrap metal here. Probably eighth inch or something. All right. In part three, we're going to knock out the chain slider, the roller tensioner, and the rear brake caliper. So, check it out. <laughs> 